In this video, we are going to see how we can give proper identifier names in our program. So let's first see what is a identifier. Identifier is a name given to any variable, object, class, method, function block inside a program. You should give proper identifier names so that it makes your program self-documenting. That means reading the name of the variable, you can understand what that variable is doing or what type of data it is storing. Let's take a SQL example. Here this SQL statement is there which says select std underscore detail underscore id comma std id comma std name comma std comma row number. So there are four variables being selected. Reading this you can understand that there are two types of IDs name and roll number for the student that are being selected. No one else needs to tell that to you. Why? Because the identifier name, the variable name makes that very clear. These are some tips you can use to create proper identifier names. You should use your language guidelines. Whatever language you are using, whether be it a programming language like Java, C++ or something like SQL, you should use the language guidelines. You should Never shy away from giving long names. Don't feel hesitant in giving long names. Giving long names makes the variables self-explanatory. Use a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters. That makes the variable name very clear. Don't give same name to two identifiers even if your language allows it or they have different scopes. Even if your language allows it, do not give same name to two variables. For example, one variable that is holding a data or and an object name. Theoretically, they can have same identifier names, but please do not give them the same names. You might get confused or someone else reading it might get confused. So in this video, we have seen how we can give proper identifier names in our program. Next video, we are going to cover how to write good comments.